our society is faced with some serious problems that we don't seem to get a grip on. Problems like fundamentalism, global warming, economic crisis or aging societies. So-called wicked problems. Problems are wicked because we ourselves, our beliefs and values and our habits are part of it. They cannot be solved in the traditional way. We need new approaches, novel ideas and fresh minds. Kenneth Land and Hivos joined forces to conduct an experiment. To explore how we can deal with such wicked problems. How can we put some new ideas on social innovation to the test? Could we find new guiding principles and methods for social innovation? How to solve a wicked problem is a wicked problem in itself. So we have no fixed recipe, no roadmap leading to our destination. We need to venture into the unknown territories of design thinking and social innovation. So first of all, we need a crew. We invited 40 diverse individuals to join us. Architects, hackers, researchers, aid workers and many more. A diverse group to bring many different perspectives, experiences and skills to the table. We prepared workshop sessions, provided an inspiring setting and guides to introduce us to the world of wicked problems. We are ready to go. The first destination, Greece. The economic crisis. The team learns firsthand how the crisis affects society and how people are trying to deal with it. Their pains and dilemmas. Five teams roll up their sleeves and start working. Some try to analyze and investigate. Others produce concrete ideas for action. Or search for the connection to their personal experiences. It turns out to be an energetic and messy process that produces many ideas, but also confusion. Although we just started, the going is starting to get tough. Some of us feel we're getting nowhere. Some members leave our expedition. But when we look closer, we see that we learned a lot. Wicked problems cannot be solved by one person. You need a horizontal network, distributed knowledge. It's not about getting it right, but finding new stories, new coping strategies. The second thing we learned is that we should look for patterns and values that wire wicked problems. When we understand those, we can start to fiddle with the wires and get unstuck. Thirdly, we need to be agile. Jump up and down between understanding the bigger picture and working on small-scale solutions. With these learnings now in our backpack, we went to the next stage of our journey. In the second session we explored what happens when tough issues become transparent. Four teams each looked at different problems and tried to apply transparency as a strategy to problems in healthcare cost, fair election, innovation in education and in local governance. Transparency turned out to bring its own fair share of wickedness. It might solve one problem, but what about privacy? We learned about the circular paradox of co-creation. For a project to start, you need clear goals and objectives. But solving a wicked problem means that understanding the problem evolves along with creating solutions. This is where the usual politics of accountability collide with the dynamics of co-creation. We discovered three ways to counteract these dynamics. Transparency of intentions, transparency of process and transparency of objectives. Now we are no rookies anymore. The difficulties and setbacks of the first two sessions made us more confident. We learned about facilitation, how to make a group of diverse people work together productively, about the pitfalls and hurdles that can slow us down. We tried to attack a wicked problem head on, then concentrated on strategies, and now we will look at what people actually do to cope with wicked problems. What innovative approaches already exist in the Netherlands and abroad to use the wisdom and potential of our elders? For instance, in African or Asian societies. From this session we learned that change starts with a solid foundation, a mission and vision rooted in the needs and daily practices of elders. That initiatives cannot grow without new connections. That one idea might spark another. And you get nowhere if you can't make ideas smart. You might think that wicked problems cannot be solved, or that you as an individual are just too insignificant in the light of the grand challenges and wicked problems. But we learned that we can find new principles and methods and start working towards solutions. 
or in the words of Margaret Mead, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed people can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has.